everybody. Welcome to my home. My name is Becky and I'm so glad you're here. So this is a decorate with me for 4th of July. Yesterday we did a crafting video and we did a decorate the tree video. I told you yesterday that I was not going to be back until Thursday, but there has been a, um, small case of COVID at my office. The doctor that I work for has COVID. So we're going to, he called me last night and told me not to come in. So I have an extra day. So I thought with this extra day, what I would do is, um, go ahead and do, cause I had some people that wanted me to do the unboxing and some people that didn't. So I did the unboxing on a separate video. And then that, I, if you watch that video, I've already told you all of this. I'm, I'm repeating myself because not everybody wanted to watch the unboxing. So this is just the decorating video. I'm gonna decorate the table and the tear tray. And we're going to do that now. If you actually got to see the unboxing, you saw that I had a lot of stuff. And I actually, I have a donate pile set up. I went through it all and I got rid of a few things that I, I just, just aren't my style anymore. And then I've got another pile over here in the kitchen that I'm gonna use to decorate the rest of the house. And then I've got the pile sitting here on the table that we're gonna decorate the tiered tray with um, the smaller items. So let's get started, let's do that. I'm trying not to talk so much and not make my videos so long, but you guys, I'm, I'm from the South. I am long-winded. So the other thing that I am is I'm ADHD. So if you see me, my eyeballs go this way or that way. <laughs> a bird fly by or something. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, and I'm also trying my best to um, be able to do something and talk at the same time. That's also challenging because I'll, I'll be into what I'm doing and then I'm talking, rambling, and my words won't come to me. And um, anyway, I hope you guys just bear with me and overlook my idiosyncrasies and just love me anyway, because it's that's just the way it's gonna be. I am the way I am, so. All right, that's enough rambling. Let's get started decorating. All right, here we go. We're getting started. We've got a clean slate. I've taken everything off of the table and the tear tray, and we're gonna decorate for the 4th of July. Okay, guys, um, I got my table ready, got it full of goodies, and we're gonna start decorating our tiered tray. We're gonna start with the bottom shelf, and I usually like to start with um, my greenery and my doilies, and because that way I know, I, I mean, I, I always put greenery and doilies on here, so that way I kinda know how much room I have and what I can work around and um, cause I really have to have the greenery in there, which of course that's a personal preference, but I like, like it in there. The next thing that I do is put the largest pieces that I have. Now this plate is the largest that I have for this, this tier. So I'm going to put this here. And then I've got my beautiful statue of Liberty that my husband, did not like, but I bought it anyway, and I'm glad I did, because look how cute she is. All right, got her there. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my flower frog, and I'm gonna get one of these um, postcards, and I'm gonna put that right there. And I usually try to put them at a little angle, so they're not quite so flat. Anytime you can put something at an angle, do it. Just makes a, a lot of difference. I've got one of these metal stars. I have three of these and I'd like to put these in here. They just give it a little bit of dimension, I think. And I just stuck it behind that um, card there. And then I've got some of these wooden blocks that I showed you earlier. And if you didn't watch that, I'll show you now. And I'm just gonna kind of stick these here and always, again, do them at a little bit of an angle so they're not quite so boring to look at. And then I've got an American flag, and I'm gonna stick the American flag in the bushes here. It's just in the right spot. 
so it will hold. There we go. Perfect. Okay. What do you think? First tier is done. Um, we have to do the back, of course. We're going to move up to tier number two. Now, I'm going to make sure that I change the angle for the top tier because I don't think you can see that from very well from this, the way that the, from what I'm looking at, it doesn't look like you can see it very well, but we're going to start with our doily and our greenery. I'm going to put that here. Um, the biggest item that I have for this tier is my USA mug. And I'm, I always try to put my mugs a little higher. All right, girl, stay, stay where I tell you to get. Okay, and I'm gonna use these little blocks for height for my mug. There we go. I don't think I need but two, I don't think two's enough. Okay, and then I have this little Betsy Ross plate. I'm gonna put that here. Okay, what else do we have? I've got some more of these stars. I really like these. I like using them in here. They just give it a give it a different dimension and a different texture. So I do like those. And then we've got our beautiful, let's put those up last my little um, salt and peppers. I'm gonna put those up last just in case something falls out of my hand and knocks it over. I've got this little primitive heart that I'm just gonna stick in this cup. And we might have to do the third. Yeah, we might have to do the third one because he's a little wobbly. All right, and then I have this little Uncle Sam and I'm gonna hang him out of the top of that cup, just like that. I wanted him to stick out a little more. There we go, that works. And then I wanna put a, a flag in there as well. Stick that right there. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring my um, salt and peppers in, but I usually with my salt and peppers like to do one higher than the other. So I think I'm gonna put this one down here. Let's see. I'm gonna push this back just a little bit. See, that's why, that's why I waited because it missed my eagle by an inch. When you're fussing with all this stuff and then stuff starts, oh, anyway, thank the Lord it didn't break. And I'm gonna put this eagle here and I'm gonna put this eagle up here. And I think that's good enough. That's our second tier, okay? I'm gonna adjust the camera so I can go a little higher. All right, top tray, top tier. I'm gonna put my greenery here. Oh, you, mm, okay. No bad words will be said today. Nope, it's not the kind of channel we have here. It's just not, this is G rated. Okay, and then we've got our doily. I'm gonna put this over here. And I've got another flower frog and I've got some more um, of the postcards. Now this one I have too. So that way you can see them on both sides. And I'm gonna put it up there on a little bit of an angle. Be careful putting these cards in your flower frogs because those sharp points will destroy your cards. Just be gentle. And then I've got this little star and I've got my beautiful salt and peppers that I showed you earlier. I would be so devastated if those broke. Um, and then I've got this little Uncle Sam hat, and I'm just gonna kind of sit him right there just for a little extra layer, all right? The rest of the stuff on the table, I'm gonna put in the back, but I'm gonna take the camera off and show you a close-up. This is the front side of the tiered tray, just a close-up version of everything. This is tier two. Right. 
right. And then we're gonna go down to the third tier. And now we're gonna go to the back and put, we've got a few things left over here. And I've got a couple things over here too that I've got to use, but we'll put that in the back and fill it right up. Okay, so we're on the back side of the tray now, and this is what we have. I know you can't see, but I've got a small little stack here of um, what we have left. We're gonna do this top part first, and all I'm gonna do is just put one little Uncle Sam there. That's all I'm gonna do, because he's, this is full enough, and I don't want anything toppling over and knocking my salt and peppers over. Um, this side, when I got back here, I realized that this is kind of hanging over. So I'm going to move this over here. And then I've got this little piece here that came from the Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to sit that there. I've got one more of these little stars. I'm going to put that here. And then I've got the last of my little block stars. And I'm going to put that there. Okay. The rest is going to go on the bottom. I need to adjust the camera real okay, quick. So the bottom shelf, I've got this little coffee tin that came from Michael's. I didn't pay $15.99, of course, it was on sale. I'm gonna sit it right there. This little book, um, could never really find a good place for it, so I'm just gonna kinda lean it against this coffee tin. Just let it lean there. I've got one more dually I want to stick back here. Gonna fold that and then I've got this little basket and I've got a tissue hanging out of the side of it um, I'm gonna sit that right there and then I've got this America the beautiful sign that came from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to tuck it in that basket and then I've got this cookie cutter that is um, primitive looking and I'm just gonna let it lay there like that let me move that ribbon so you can see the sign. And there you go. We're just going to leave it like that and turn it on an angle. The last thing I have are these USA um, letters. And I know they're probably backwards, but these were in the craft section. They're meant to be painted, but I didn't want to paint them. I just wanted the neutral, natural look of them. So I'm going to sit them right here. And we're gonna be done. I'm gonna take the camera down and show you a close up of the back view, and then we're gonna lay our plates out. This is the back view. Second tier. And third tier. There you go. Now we're gonna. Actually, before we set our plates out, I want to show you something real yeah, quick. I know you can't see my face. I don't want you necessarily to see my face, but if you like those postcards and you don't have any, you can go online and you can print, you can just Google search vintage postcards for any season. I've done them for every season imaginable, but this is one that I found for 4th of July and I printed it on cardstock, and you can make your own vintage postcard. You just cut it out, and if you want, you can um, distress the edges by using a lighter or a piece of sandpaper or something like that, um, just to make it look like it's been worn. And then you take your Distressing ink, is that upside, yeah, that's upside down. Distress ink, and you just kind of go to town on it. This one's already distressed looking because of, because I, you know, I was searching for vintage cards, so it already looks distressed. Maybe crinkle it up a little bit, I don't know, not too much, but Get a little bit on the front. And you can have your own vintage postcard. And let me show you how that would look. Hold on. I don't on. know that I don't like that one better <laughs> than the one that I had that's um, actually old. But isn't he cute? I love Uncle Sam. I'm a sucker for any Uncle Sam decor. 
So that is our homemade vintage postcard and you can do them yourself. Easy peasy. Okay, we're coming in with our uh, place settings. Now, these are a little more modern than what I would like. I've had these plates for a while. I did just buy these, um, but I would like to have a more vintage place setting, but I just don't right now. So we're just gonna do what with what we have, but I've only got a four place setting here and Hopefully, we'll be able to remedy that soon in our vintage travels, thrift store travels and all of that. The next set is we have this blue, um, what is that, gingham? Checker, buffalo, buffalo check, I'm not sure. I'm gonna put those there. And then, This is my Faye Dunn. <laughs> it's not real Ray Dunn, but it's meant to look like it. So I call it my Faye Dunn. I just cut it out with my Cricut and put it on the plates. The plates are from the Dollar Tree. Easy, cheap, and cute. So there's that. We're gonna set the other side. These need to be wiped off before people come over, but I just got them out of storage, so I'll do that later. But, okay, let me pull the camera up so you can see it close Here up. it is, all put together. I think it looks really cute. I really like the um, stars and the checks. I didn't know if I would or not, but I really do. They look cute together. Like I said, it's a little more modern than what I would like, and hopefully one day I'll find some dishes that represent my style a little better but for now it is what it is um my biggest complaint though i wish i had six because it looks it looks like it's missing something i'm so used to having six place settings at my table that i feel like something is missing hold on just one second so i went and looked in my closet and i have these dollar tree plates that i had picked up a long time ago and then I have my regular white chargers. And tell me what you think about this. I mean, it's not as pretty as the other place settings, but does it kind of blend in? I think it kind of fills it up a little better. That'll work at least until I can find something. Maybe I can find like some blue and white vintage dishes to go in the middle right there. That would be cute. I would like to replace these with something blue and white vintage blue and white i don't mind these and i don't mind this but these are just they're melamine and they're plastic but all right that's it that's my video thank you for watching um hopefully this video was inspiring to you and your fourth of july decorating and i guess i'm gonna try to come back thursday i'm not sure what i'm gonna do unless i've just finished putting out my fourth of july decor and I may go ahead and do that since it's all strung out in my house and just keep that video until Thursday. I'm not sure. We'll see. It's already 1230. It's time for some lunch. But thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you for watching that long video yesterday. Thank you for tuning back in today. And thank you for all the beautiful comments. I love you all. I will see you later. Bye. I want to say this too before um, I forget because I forget. I forget every time. I do have an Instagram. It's my little vintage home 78. Now I could care less if you go and follow it and like it, or I could care less. But what I would like is, you know, I keep getting these comments saying, I have a collection of amber glass, or I have a collection of um, jadeite. I have this, and I want to see these things. You know, there's the if you got inspired by the video yesterday and you're going to make those ornaments, I want to see them. I want to see how they turned out and I want to see them on your tree. Um, tag me in a picture that you post on Instagram. Um, cause I'm, I'm really, really want to see how they turn out and how they look. And, um, I think it would be fun. So 
Like I said, it's on Instagram. I know not everybody does that, but if you do, that would be fun, I think. And just, um, you just have to put the at symbol and put my little vintage home 78 and I'll see it. Okay. Okay.